Welcome to November in Michigan. Well, technically not November just yet because it is Halloween day and we're out trying to find some caches at uh, Chief Gene Shepherd Park in Shelby Township, Michigan. I'm Daryl. And I'm Renee. And come with us on another R&DW adventure. <laughs> Our first mission when we arrived on site was actually this uh, puzzle cache that's right at the parking. So we had a lot of answers that we had to figure out from this building and from a kiosk over there. For us, we're using Cashly, which makes it uh, pretty easy to put in the cords. But I take uh, all of the notes on these in uh, Notion so we that we can both share them, have at it, and it makes it uh, kind of a collaborative tool. And if there's ever a question that someone uh, contacts us on, we can go back and figure it out. Right. Yeah, you because know, we've got our notes. And Notion is shared, so we both have the same notes at the same time. Right. It, it's, it's another one of the new breed of live tools. So I, it, I really like it. And I do have a paid plan. They don't pay me or anything for it, but I have the paid plan personally, and we actually use it at work. So it's kind of a no brainer to uh, use it at this point. And the natural successor for a lot of people coming from Evernote. But now that we have that solved, it's in Cashly, certainly not the uh, closest cache, but that's why we want to solve them now, figure out that puzzle before we hit the trail. And now we can head out in a more uh, organized. organized fashion. <laughs> At least we know where it is in relation to the other caches we are trying to find as well. And the other thing that I really like about Notion also is that you can copy it and paste it right into uh, Cashly. The, Cashly, the, the corrected cords. So now we have to go out and find some caches, including, I believe, a couple of uh, multi caches. Nice. We tried for a couple of caches on the way out here to Yates Cider Mill. One was a traditional, another was a projection uh, multi-cache. Neither one of them panned out after probably 15 minutes or more of hunting for them. I think they're both still there, we just couldn't figure out where they were. But we're gonna take a break, see if we can find some masks. We happen to forget our mask back at the car and uh, hopefully get some uh, cider and donuts for a quick refresher as we head back to the trail. So who said that there's not a treat at the end of the trail? Well, it's kind of the middle of the trail, but we followed the signs. We came to Yates Cider Mill. The donuts were delicious. The cider is very sweet, but it's good and fresh. Um, it's a really pretty fall day here. It's actually pretty crowded, but um, I also got another treat. I got Mexican street corn. I don't know what that has to do with the cider mill, but I always smell it. So I got it this time, I'm very excited.
At least the second half of the trail was a lot more productive. We found all three of the caches that we uh, set out for, but really the gem this time around has been, it is just a gorgeous fall day now. It really is, and it's so pretty out here. So, Aside from the gun range, you wouldn't realize that you're that close to civilization. <laughs> <laughs> so it's one of those, even without the geocaches, we would have been happy out here today. Beautiful uh, uh, sight. And we did get uh, some hints already on those uh, two caches that we DNF to start our day with. So we might head uh, back over there to check those out, but I don't think so. Uh, it's getting kind of late and we've got sunset in just a few hours. The joy of fall in Michigan. But tonight, well tomorrow, we get an extra hour. So that's kind of nice. All right, well, we've got uh, a few more caches to try for, so let's go. Well, the rest of the caching kind of got uh, away from us in part. Uh, Justin, the cache owner of those caches we could not actually find, was kind enough to come out and take a look and I ran into him at uh, one of them. So we ended up spending a bunch of time talking, but we did find with his help, both of those missing ones. So that was a good thing. But now we are actually out walking our puppy who's uh, <laughs> Very excited to be wearing his favorite Halloween costume. Fozzie, Daryl, and I hope you had a happy Halloween, fun celebrations, whatever you chose to do. And don't forget to subscribe and check out our other videos on the channel.